Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today we've got a great video. Today we're going to be replacing a screen on a Chromebook 14 inch made by HP. The model number is a 14-CA003CL. Uh, as you see the screen has a crack in the glass. Completely unusable. We know the machine is still booted up. You can see the screen. Uh, so let me turn this camera down. We're going to get right into it. All right, guys. I've got a couple of things that can help me with the project. I've got a small Phillips head screwdriver. And I've got a couple of plastic spludgers uh, to pull the uh, the bezel off from around the, uh, the LCD itself. So uh, first thing we want to do is make sure the laptop's turned off. Power button's right here. We're going to hold that down until it powers down. Um, if you've got fingernails, you don't have to use the uh, the spludger, but I, my fingernails are not very long, so uh, I'm going to use this. And what we're going to do is we're going to pry this right around this edge right here, because all this is just held in around the edge with a bunch of uh, like snap points where it's uh, connected to the back of that. So let's see if we can get this up under here. Yep, there's some adhesive back there, back behind this. Um, not terribly strong. I, I've taken this off once already. So it was going to be a little bit easier, but uh, don't pry too hard, but uh, just work your way around. See how it's just, oh, there you go. See, it just popped out. I'm not going to break anything. Don't want to do, pry too hard because you don't want to break the plastic. I'm just going to work all the, way, all the way around. Easy up here. There's a web camera up here at the top. Make sure not to pry too hard up there. Pull too far apart. See how I'm not pulling this out yet? Pry this off. There we go. All right. See how it's still connected down at the bottom. We're gonna turn this around, lay it all the way down. Actually, let me show you on the back side. There's a seam in the uh, plastic back here on the back side. So we're gonna lay it all the way down. And there's a little bit of room right there on the edge where it's popped up. I'm gonna try and get the machine powered on. I put. Hit that button. I'm gonna get a, something just to slide right up under there, right up under the edge of that plastic right there and pry it up. You may have to work a little bit harder on that because it uh, actually is a seam in the plastic, but don't be afraid, it won't break. Just be careful. I'm gonna pop this up. comes off just like that. You can see where the adhesive was. Um, if you don't have this off long, be careful because dog hair, anything will stick to that and it won't be, uh, won't look real good for your customer. Um, but it's, it, it should still be good the next time you use it. I'm gonna set that to the side. Uh, let's turn this around. There are, you see a bunch, a handful of screws here. We only need to take four, uh, four screws. There's one right here, a silver one, right here, another one right here. And then up at the top, one and two. So I'm gonna take those four off real quick. There goes one. Fell through, I'm gonna set it in the thing right there. Number two. There we go. Number three. And number four, yes, I ordered a, they make a, a glossy and a matte finish for the um, LCD for this uh, this model. Uh, so I matched up, the customer had a the matte finish, so I went ahead and ordered a matte finish replacement, which I've got sitting over here to the side. Okay, so now we've got those four screws off. If you take the other two larger screws down here, that is actually connected to the hinges uh, down here on the base of the, of the, um, of the Chromebook and it keeps it connected to the display assembly. Uh, but we don't need to do that. All we need to do is take out this, the display itself. I've got another uh, another tool here. This is a, a what's called a Scotty peeler. I use it to remove labels from new items. Um, it's just a thin uh, piece of, uh, of metal, real thin. Uh, I'm just gonna use it to pry the screen off a little bit. Oh, I didn't take the fourth screw off. Sorry. 
Yeah, I said four and I took off three. Yeah, you gotta take off four to get the uh, get the whole thing out. There it goes. Yeah, there. There we go, number three, four. All right, so we're gonna pull that out. And here you go. Here's the connection, it's very simple. There is a, lab, uh, a piece of tape that's holding the connector in. I'm gonna use that same spludger to just pull that tape off, be careful. The connection is very sensitive. There's two different screens. There's a 30 pin and a 40 pin screen. So make sure you have, uh, I believe the, t the 40 pin is the touch screen. This screen is not touch screen enabled. So um, we pull that off and this just slides right off right there. There's not, no catch or anything. Um, everything I, the, I did to do the research to find the replacement, the model number and everything is right here. It's got the HP uh, replacement number. Try and put that a little, a little bit closer, see if that'll help you. Um, so there, that's completely taken out. So we're gonna go over here and grab our replacement screen. Right here, it's got a protective film on it. All the same connections. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this right back on here. Careful, that's just barely held on down there. Push that down, put the tape back on it. We're gonna set it right here for some a test. Without the screws in, we're gonna push our power button. Look there, we're, we're turned on. And we're completely functional. Got a login screen, everything. I'll just have to take the, the protective plastic off. So we're gonna put our screws back in. Told you this was gonna be simple. One. Get that screw back in behind it. Get on there. I apologize. Sorry for the delay. Get up there. That one back in. Number two. Number three. And number four. And once you get the screws in, the next step is just to snap the, uh, carefully snap the uh, that metal piece back there has slid down a little bit. There it goes, it slid back in. All right, so we are good there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this protective plastic off. Look at that, that's a clean screen. Just a protective plastic, we're gonna set that aside over there with the old screen. <clears throat> Take our plastic, 
slide it down and lay it down like we did in our last, very last step before we uh, put this back together. That else that oh, there actually connection cable slides in a little tray right there. A couple little things that keep it down. <clears throat> Set it down right here. Should just sit there. You don't want to force it yet. Push down right there in the middle. Get that to snap. I hope you heard that snap. And then we're just going to work our way around the edges and snap this back in. Just like we unsnapped it. <clears throat> there it went. Usually you can see where it's sitting up a little bit. There we go. Sometimes the adhesive sits, sticks out. Just don't use anything sharp or you'll scratch the, the screen. But uh, that's it. Fully replaced. Fully functional. I hope you enjoyed this. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. Um, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching.